Welcome to Israel's Kosher Kitchen. Today I'll be cooking, well, this. And the chicken, the chicken too, because there's, there's also chicken. He looks so sad now. My brother's sad now because he had to mute the TV. The headphones didn't work. I tried giving him headphones. The headphones didn't work. I'm not a complete bastard. Oh no, this is for my audience to know that I tried to consider other people before forcing you to make the TV muted. And that audience will be you tomorrow when you watch this during lunch. So I'm speaking to you, but not today, tomorrow. That's, that's the uh, floor's broccoli now. That's healing. Nature is healing. The broccoli is going back to the floor. That's probably good. See? That right there, that's called fire. Electric fire. And it uses way, 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 way more energy than a gas stove. You should get one. That way your electric bill will be higher. And people will enjoy the flavorless flavor it provides. Electric appliances instead of gas appliances suck. This place sucks because of that. Our electric bill is obscene. And it's 100% the heating and nothing else. Gas, when we were living in the other place, man, gas was like $30 in the head of winter. $30. That was our heating bill in winter. It's almost 10 times that here. It's obscene. I've had the um, electric people come out to look at it, and they're like, no, you just got to... Electric heater heats up the whole place. It's very inefficient. Uh, I stepped on the floor's broccoli. I make you eat that broccoli for laughing. I don't serve people broccoli that's been to the floor most of the time. I threw it out, okay, and no, I don't serve anyone floor broccoli. Well, I just don't want to. Yeah. And then you all that. Ooh, that knife. 
this. I'm going to do a little tilt downward so you can see a little bit. That's the good, good shot, Internet. I'm using refined olive oil. You don't want to use regular oil, extra virgin olive oil, because it has a very low flash temperature. This one's a little bit higher. It's a little bit better for sauteing and whatnot. more broccoli for the floor. Okay. And then of course, red crushed pepper. I mean, what else are you going to do? And just a little bit of black pepper. There's nothing really to call this except for stir fry. What's kosher about it, this is particularly how Jewish people envision Asian food. They're like, first cook broccoli, then put some other vegetable in there, and then cook some chicken, put soy sauce in it, and tell your family that you just cooked uh, Asian food for them. I'm, I'm serious, too. This is what Orthodox Jews believe Asian food is it but they cook it for their family they don't know better all right let's get that salad back going that out of focus do its thing here we are still got seeds Stupid seeds. There you go. Why not I'd show you what I'm doing, right? Nice colors. I was going to use the red pepper, but Broccoli is green. Pepper would be red. It's not Christmas. Oh, let's let's not do that. So pepper goes in there. And finally, I have this peach. It's just for me to eat. I'm not, I'm not putting it in, in the pot. I'm just going to eat it. Okay. So let's take a closer look at the pot. Sorry about the traveling. Oh, oh my, I traveled well. Yeah, yeah, howdy. That looks nice. 
that Boca is brought to you by Photo Rental Source, the best place to get all of your photo needs. We ship. They ship. I've shipped while working for them. I'm using a, an A7S III and a Sony 70-200 OSS II. The lens is beast mode. It's got that aperture ring on it. I like that. That kind of stuff makes me geek. Alright. So I'm going to pull this back here a little bit. Alright. I'm going to move that back to about there. Pull. Okay, cool. Nice. Nicely done, me. I should probably clean that. Be hilarious. Oh, we got peach juice on the fuzzy thing for the transmitter on the uh, lab mic. They call it a dead cat. Cat better be dead. Be pissed. Be drooping juice on it. Why the fuck did I decide to eat a peach at now at all times? I thought it would be funny. Okay, it's kind of fun. All right, you guys, I ate the peach. The peach is done. It's gone. Okay, I cleaned the cutting board because I dripped juice on it and it kind of was on camera. If it wasn't on camera, I, I wouldn't have cleaned this. And I'm the only one eating this. I mean, Victor, I don't really care about that. He doesn't care either. He didn't say anything. He's sitting on the couch. Alright, my chicken, which I defrosted from frozen earlier today in a bag of water. What you want to do, you want to save that water for later. You want to bathe in that. Pro tip, 
You want to keep your eyes open while you're under the water. That's, that's going to make everything work the best. Okay. So I have my chicken here. Let me make sure that it's in focus. Not even in the shot. I gotta wash my hands to get this motherfucker in the shot. I need a camera operator. Don't worry, Victor, you're off the hook. I want I want someone who actually knows what they're doing. You just looked me up. <laughs> I didn't know if I would know what I'm doing or not. <laughs> I have my suspicions. Slimy chicken, slimy chicken, gotta touch it with my hands. Stupid slimy chicken and piece of slimy chicken. Slimies. Eh, good enough. Good enough. So at this point, I'm going to put the chicken in the pot. Then, I'm going to cook it. That's the secret. Some people cook the chicken separately and then add it and add the soy sauce, blah, blah, blah. But, I, I'm lazy. I don't want it. I want, I want to do as little effort as possible. Let us take a look inside that pan again. Here we go. That's a nice shot. Zoom in or out? In, right? You guys. Mm. Camera a little bit taller. Yeah. This is about the same angle I use when I paint. Broccoli I cook first because it takes longer to cook. The yellow pepper I don't care about it. I just threw it in there because I didn't want y'all to think that I was just going to eat broccoli and chicken. Now I just let it cook. If you're wondering what's happening, I'm just having fun. It's 
messing with the autofocus. Why not? So it's going to take a little bit for the chicken to cook. I mean, it is what it is. I don't really like waiting, but I won't add the soy sauce in there until I know that chicken is cooked. Pasadena got roughed up today, man. Tornadoes tore that place a new one. My apartment complex got hit by a tornado a real long time ago, almost 10 years ago. Tore the roof off of it. We had to leave, move into another one. Like, I was building over and like down one definitely sucked as an apartment space over the first space that was for sure the first space was so good and they like, didn't give us the opportunity to rent that space back when they renovated it a crappy apartment I haven't lived in a good place since coming to Houston I mean um, every place has been a step up from the place before a huge step down from living in Cleveland, Ohio, as far as like as actual physical living space, I don't like Cleveland at all, man. It was cold and snow everywhere. You can't do nothing for three months out of the year, and people sucked there, man. People are so much better here. You got to find and sift your way through some people, though. In Cleveland, it's the same eight losers. There's never going to be new ones. The same people. I like like it here in Houston. You always meet new people, man. And people tend to have a better disposition. That's important too. Got myself a vodka sprite here without the vodka. Yes. 
Yes, it's just Sprite. I got ice. Oh, it does taste good on ice. I almost want to throw tomatoes in here just for the color, but uh, again, green and red, no. No thank you. And also, soy sauce with tomatoes. I'm curious. Another time, perhaps. Oh, I'm getting excited. That chicken's almost done cooking. Finally, it's been like three minutes. Or however long the live stream goes for. See, this is a prime example of why live streaming and people making their own entertainment. It's just terrible. That was a good two minutes. Well, at least 30 seconds of me speaking while I had a whole peach pit in my mouth. And no one, no one would let that happen on television. They know better. So I got a new uh, soy sauce brand, it's called Sanjay, it sounds like someone you would get a haircut from, Sanjay Salon, Sanjay, I've been waiting six months to be in Sanjay's chair, Sanjay's a miracle worker, he doesn't just see anybody for hair appointments, not Sanjay. What I look for in soy sauce is the ingredients. I go straight to the ingredients. You can't have more than like three. This one says water, soybean, salt, alcohol to preserve. Fair enough. Acceptable. If you want to see something shameful, look at Kikoman's label. There we go. Liverous use of expensive soy sauce. It smells damn good. That's another reason why you get decent soy sauce. Alright. <clears throat> Once you put the soy sauce in, the broccoli wants to release its water. I think it's the sodium. I'm not, I'm not a scientist. Alright, I'm going to let this cook up for a little while and let the uh, soy sauce marry. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yeah. 
close look at something, but I don't know what I want. And, okay. There we go. Look at that. That cooks. Gotta hand it to a great design. Walk. The uh, imbalance of it keeps it from burning. Just kind of balancing that, right? Kind of a symmetry of unsymmetry. Gotta appreciate that. Try to interview my dog, but she didn't like that. The only spices I put in is black pepper and red, red crushed pepper flakes. I'm trusting the soy sauce to have more than enough sodium for the vegetables and the chicken. It's pretty much sodium and soy. And water. Alright. And that is my kosher version of... Asian food because Orthodox Jews only know how to cook this as their Asian food. Okay, and you are welcome for the tutorial that no one asked for. Wish I had some music to play myself out on. I can hum or something, but. Until next time, thank you guys for watching another take of Israel's Kosher Kitchen.